Gotta pay the celery tax. Oh wait, your feet were there. You better clean up your mess. Oh no, mommy made a mess actually. It wasn't even you, I'm sorry. Step one, wake up for the gonna rise with the sun. Step two. Hey everyone, it's Courtney. Uh, I have pajamas on because we were out all day and I wanted to get comfy before I make macaroni salad for the Super Bowl that is on Sunday. Um, really quick, I want to show everybody this egg cooker that my mom got me. <laughs> and it sounds so lame, but it actually makes boiling eggs a lot easier. It is called the Elite Gourmet Easy Egg Cooker, but I'm pretty sure there's like how many egg cookers all over Amazon. But if you make boiled eggs, uh, this is the easiest way to do it. It like you don't even have to watch it, stir it, nothing. You don't do anything. It's amazing. So I'm gonna start on macaroni salad, and I'll walk you through it. Oh, we went to Bath and Body Works today. Um, so very quickly, I'm gonna show you a quick haul of what we got. It's mostly soaps, but. That's fine. Okay, so the first soap we got is the strawberry pound cake soap. And I believe we got two of these, if I'm not mistaken, um, because I love the scent of the strawberry pound cake. I also got a hand sanitizer of the strawberry pound cake. It smells like strawberries and sweetness. And I mean, you can't go wrong with it. <laughs> Next, we have fresh Amalfi lemon, which I like the bottle of this. Like, it's very 70s looking or something to me, but it smells delicious like lemons. We also have Sweet Apple. Uh, this is the foaming hand wash. I love apple scents. I think I've mentioned that every time I get Bath & Body Works stuff, I always get something apple because apple's just, I don't know, it's the perfect sweet yet fresh scent to me, but the strawberry pound cake is also the same way. It's very sweet but fresh. Finally, we have raspberries and whipped vanilla. And I believe this is a new scent because I have never had this before. Um, I think it's a little heavier on the raspberry than the vanilla, but it's a very sweet uh, scent overall, which I think is what I gravitate towards, as you can see. That's what we did today, Bath and Body Works, and I'm gonna make my carne salad. So let's get started. Also, quick update, we also went to Smoothie King, um, and I get the Angel Food Slim, because it has like no added sugar, and it's delicious. It's, uh, I believe, strawberries, banana, pear juice, and stevia. Corey got the um, Gladiator Chocolate Espresso, and I'm not typically a coffee gal, <laughs> but it's pretty tasty. Um, it's pretty good. It's I don't like their chocolate flavors at Smoothie King too much, but for a chocolate smoothie, it's pretty tasty. So really quickly, this is like the little water thing. You just put water in it, and you pour it in the container. It's just easy, and then you put your eggs in, and that's it, it's like seven minutes and it cooks without you doing anything. Just magic, it's magical, it's amazing. Okay, this is again how easy the egg cooker is. It's gonna like just be on until the water evaporates which is in about seven minutes I think for the boiled eggs. So you fill up that cup until the water line and then you pour it in and then when the steam is like fully evaporated, all the water, then it just turns off automatically. I'm telling you, it's the easiest way to make boiled eggs. Now of course, if you have to make more than seven, it's not gonna work, but for what we're doing today, this is perfect. When I first started cooking pasta, I always thought you just like kind of sprinkle some salt in the pot and it makes it boil faster and that's why people did it. But then I learned from an Italian grandma on TikTok that you are supposed to like salt the water to where it's like sea salt or sea water. You're supposed to salt the water until it tastes like sea water, which doesn't sound pleasant, but that's like how salty you want it to be. Um, I don't quite use that much salt because I still feel a little like guilty using that much, but apparently you need a lot of salt, so that's what I go for. I still feel guilty though. I have like salt guilt because like of the, I don't know, doctor's recommendations and stuff. Salt guilt. That's a real thing, right? That's what I have. <laughs> So we went to Fresh Market uh, to get uh, some ingredients, and I've never seen celery on the stalk like this. So I thought that was kind of interesting. But we need uh, three celery stalks. Three celery stalks, basically. Um, these aren't huge either. I, I don't know if this is like a different type of celery that is shorter. Typically celery gets pretty long, so we might need more than three, but I'm gonna start with three because I don't like to overload my macaroni salad with Celery, it just, I don't know, it's just for crunch, not for flavor, if that makes sense. So as my water is boiling, I'm gonna cut up some celery. I do not use the super white pieces because I feel like they're a little bitter. And like I said, it's not really for flavor, it's for 
the crunch. So I don't want to waste it. So I might use it for something else. But for right now, this is as much celery as I'm using and I'm going to dice it up. So you want this diced super finely because it's just for crunch. Like I said, it's just crunch. You don't want a ton of flavor from this. Got a page of celery tax. Perfect crunch. So we just uh, drained the water from the noodles. We, because Corey's here now, he's holding the camera for me. Say hi, Corey. We're rinsing the noodles with cold water uh, because we want the noodles cold, actually. That's kind of what we don't want hot macaroni salad. I'm sure there's a thing somewhere. We're not making hot macaroni salad, so just cold water all over the noodles. I'm not a fan of super oniony macaroni salad. I don't think anybody is. Maybe maybe my dad. He likes really onion oniony stuff. Anyways, most people do not. So I use half of a sweet onion, like, uh, and maybe even less if uh, I'm feeling not so oniony that day. So uh, this is pretty much what it looks like. I only have half an onion here, and I'm gonna dice it up like I did the celery. So I typically, I thought I was gonna do half of an onion. Uh, no, it's far too much. I'm gonna do a quarter of an onion because this amount looks perfect. That whole bunch I'm gonna like save for later because I just do not want that much onion in my macaroni salad. I'm not an onion girly. That's just how it is. And some people are that way and I'm, I'm one of them. I don't like onion. So I'm gonna do a quarter of that onion that I showed earlier. Okay, the eggs are done uh, cooking. So next what we have to do, I hope they're not too hot. Oh, they are hot. Mm, I need something to grab with. Now that the eggs are done cooking, we're going to take them. I'm using tongs because they are indeed hot. Hopefully I do this correctly. Okay, I'm gonna bash it. <laughs> That's a funny way to put that. Bash it so it's open and then put it in ice cold water. I do this because it helps the peeling process and these are pretty new eggs. So we really need them bashed open so that way the cold water kind of penetrates the skin, which will make the actual peeling process a lot easier. So that's what it looks like on the bottom, broken open. Okay, so I'm about to do the eggs and if it doesn't work, you're not gonna see this bit, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay. I put a paper towel down and I roll to kind of break it up. And the paper towel just catches all the shells so it's easier to clean up. Let's see, it's a good one. Oh, I didn't get the skin yet. There we go. Perfect. Oh, yes. Look. These are brand new eggs. I mean, it didn't come off in one perfect shell, but that's pretty good. Perfect. This is not for me bashing it. That is just an egg defect. Not me at all, I promise. So then I rinse them off in cold water, and these are ready to cut up. I cut the eggs in like, uh, let me show you, like these kind of chunks. I like bigger pieces of egg. You can dice them up smaller if you wish. The yolk just kind of goes everywhere. Uh, it's not gonna stay within the egg, obviously. But yeah, just dice up the whites, like whatever size you like. I like big pieces because I prefer egg in mine. You better clean up your mess. Oh no, mommy made a mess actually. It wasn't even you, I'm sorry. Here, bud, a little bit more. Here you go. Button tacks. This is about four and a half eggs. Uh, of course, the button's got half. So I'm gonna save the other two to see if I need it. But first this goes in with all of the noodle. Oh, I hope my bowl's big enough. Oh yeah, it should be good. Um, like I said, I'll see if I need, I'll see if I need the other two eggs, but right now we're going to start with five, well, four and a half. Next, we're going to put in the celery and the onion, and then I'll show the sauce mix. So we officially added the celery and onion with the egg in the noodles. So we'll mix this up and then I'll show you the sauce. So for the sauce, all you're going to need is mayonnaise, and usually I use light mayo, but for macaroni salad, you really want to use good quality mayo, so I'm using Duke's. Um, you need about a cup of this. You need about two tablespoons of your choice of vinegar. I'm using red wine today, but apple cider works really well too. And then you're going to need about one-fourth a cup of sugar. Uh, Mix this together and see if it's to your taste. If it's not, add whatever you think is missing. Of course, salt as well. Um, but just start with these ingredients and see if you like it. Okay, here's some ASMR for you. ASMR. 
I don't know if anybody likes that. I personally don't like ASMR, but enjoy if you did. Uh, so like I said, this is about a cup of mayonnaise and it should look something like this, kind of creamy and thick. You don't want it to be super watery. If it is, you probably did something wrong, like too much vinegar. So you do about one cup of mayonnaise, about two tablespoons and like a little extra splash of vinegar. Um, oh, and one fourth cup of sugar. Uh, for the sugar, if it seems like a lot of sugar, just start slow and add as you feel comfortable with. I don't think it's too sweet, but I know some people might think it's a lot of sugar, but it really, I swear it isn't because the vinegar kind of balances it out. Um, and once you do that, add salt and pepper to taste. I do about a teaspoon of salt for the whole batch, but if you want more salt, that's perfectly fine. And I recommend you let it sit overnight in the fridge because it, I recommend, <laughs> I recommend letting it sit overnight uh, in the fridge, of course, and it just kind of marinates together and gets the best flavor. Uh, and it definitely wants to, you, <laughs> you definitely need it to be chilled. Uh, so overnight in the fridge and it should be perfect. Buttons is co-starring right now. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed my recipe. My recipe, it's not my recipe. It's my mom's recipe. Uh, and I actually feel kind of bad that I'm sharing it. I hope she doesn't mind. I kind of asked her, Maybe I should re-ask her because I don't know if she's... Mm, I'm going to assume she's fine with me sharing it. <laughs> but if you don't like it, keep it to yourself. No, I'm, kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, have fun uh, making your own macaroni salad. And if you do, let me know if you like it. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two.